Welcome back to Z2 Tutorials and today we're going to be looking at how to make a mirror effect in Photoshop. So basically you have that fade out effect that looks really, really cool and is very, very effective. Now you can use this in text or on logos, anything you want really. It's very, very simple and really easy to execute. So let's hop into Photoshop and get started. So here we are in Photoshop and once you have that opened you just want to create a new document. Now this is using File New or the shortcut key Control N, Control or Command N if you're on a Mac. You're going to name your, your, your document so I'm just going to name mine Mirror Effect. You want to give it a width and a height of whatever you want. I'm going to use 900 pixels by 200 pixels and I'm going to leave my background colour to transparent. So here we are and I have my 900 by 200 pixel wide and I want to select the foreground colour black and once you have that selected you just want to use the shortcut key alt backspace and that will fill in the background for you so my background is now black I want to put a text on it so I'm going to go to the T text tool down there in the bottom and I'm going to select my color to white now if you don't know how to do this you just basically go up to the top bar there and just click on that button and bring the color all the way up to white click OK when you're ready with that and just type in your text so I'm just going to write in Z tutorials if you're not happy with the size and the font and stuff, just change it. I'm going to use Copper Gothic Black and I'm going to use the font size of 95 pixels. Tick the check when you're ready for that and you just want to align this center. Now a lot of people say that when you're aligning this and it's wrong, that you just select the Move tool and move it until it looks about right. This is incorrect. Basically you just want to press Control A or go to the Select All and while you have the Move tool selected, it's going to bring up this bar here. You want to select this one here which will basically center it on the horizon and you just want to center it vertically. So them two buttons there center it absolutely perfectly for you and you're not guessing. So that's a much much better way and more accurate way to do it. Now I'm just going to move my text up using the arrow keys there just so I can put in the, the mirror effect. And once you're happy with where your text is, you just want to select your text and you want to duplicate the layer. Now if you don't know how to do this, you can just right click and go to duplicate layer or you can just simply press the command um, control J or command J and basically there is your second set of text. Now it's the exact copy of that and you want to flip this so that it looks like a mirror. So just go to edit, you want to go to transform and all the way down to flip vertical. And then, all, as you can see, the Z and the S's are lining up. If they're not lining up, you just use your arrow keys to set them up perfectly. And now you want to get on using the mirror. So just double click on the layer that's copied, and you just want to go to the default blending options. On the fill opacity, you just want to change that to a decent size percentage, maybe 15 to 20%. When you're happy with the color that you have, or the opacity that you have, you just click on OK, and there you have your faded out text. Now you want to select the eraser tool. Now if you cannot find the eraser tool you just need to press the command or control E and it will bring up the eraser tool but it's right there on the left panel. You want to select a nice big size brush. Now I suggest using um, one of these brushes down here that are like fading out and I use 100 pixels so um, I suggest using something like that. If you're getting this, er this um, error on the page you just want to go to right click and you want to go to rasterize type. So you're rasterizing the layer so that you can use the eraser tool. Now simply just hover your mouse over it while holding down the left click button and make sure that you keep doing that until you get a perfect look. So I'm just gonna fix this up there and make it look nice and neat and tidy. And when you're happy with, with the look you have, you just select your move tool, line it up whatever way you want, and basically that's it, that's all you have to do. Now that's really really easy, that was only done with a text, but uh, basically you can use that for anything you want, any image, any logo. You just copy it, duplicate the layer exactly the same you were, you were to, you just flip it vertical and you change the opacity, use your eraser tool. So it's really really easy to do and really really simple, so I hope you guys liked it. Make sure you check out my last video which was on Channel Meter, channelmeter.com which basically lets you know um, how your subscribers are doing and all that kind of stuff. It's kind of like YouTube analytics. So it's really, really cool. Or you can check out my latest video if it's up. You can just see that on the question mark there. Alternatively, you can go ahead and subscribe if you liked my videos and if you want to see more of what I can do. I'm going to bring in more Photoshop and Dreamweaver tutorials along with some jailbreaking news this weekend. So if you guys have subscribed to me for my iPhones and jailbreaks and all that kind of stuff, that is coming later this weekend. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. Make sure you stay tuned for more videos like this. And thank you all for watching. This is Z Tutorials signing out.